Ever wondered how a gleaming metropolis takes root in the middle of a desert? Or how a high-speed train carves its path through the roof of the world? Forget sun-drenched beaches and tourist traps. Today, we're venturing into a different kind of paradise. A paradise of steel and sweat, where gravity whispers threats and the horizon dances with vertigo. We're talking about the world's most extreme construction sites, where engineering marvels defy logic and human resilience pushes the limits of what's possible. Rothera Research Station Number 5. The Rothera Research Station, situated in one of the most isolated and harsh environments on Earth, with temperatures ranging from 5 to negative 40 degrees Celsius, is where the United Kingdom is currently undertaking a mega-project valued at $415 million. Everything you see here, the workers, equipment, and construction materials, had to be transported from the United Kingdom to Antarctica covering a journey of approximately 11,000 kilometers. But what exactly is being constructed? This location serves as the largest British survey station for polar research, hosting numerous ongoing science projects in collaboration with the Netherlands. One of these projects focuses on real-time research on climate change. The Antarctic weather and fauna are continuously monitored to create precise climate change models predicting sea level rise. Over the years, additional buildings have been added to facilitate efficient research despite extreme weather conditions. What was once a small base for only four people has evolved into a complex supporting up to 130 staff operating at full capacity during the summer months. The British government over about four years has been working on the most expensive state-funded project in Antarctica since the 1980s, the Antarctic Infrastructure Modernization Program. Part of this 415 million project involves upgrading the Rothera Research Station. Many existing buildings on the station were no longer in optimal condition and needed renewal. Additionally, a new $55 million wharf was completed in 2020 to accommodate the new polar research ship. Construction on the Discovery Building, a science and operations facility featuring energy-efficient systems to minimize environmental impact, began and is expected to conclude in 2024. The two-story building will integrate field expeditions, medical facilities, and office spaces, replacing several older buildings. Etihad Railway Number 4. Now, shifting from the ice and cold to the sand dunes and relentless heat of the Arabian Desert, the United Arab Emirates is in the process of constructing the Etihad Railway, an $11 billion megaproject. Once completed, this railway will span 1,200 kilometers, connecting the United Arab Emirates to Saudi Arabia from the Guayfat region of Abu Dhabi to the Fujairah port on the East Coast. Although this massive infrastructure project is just a small part of the future plans for the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, including Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, it plays a crucial role in their efforts to diversify their economies and reduce dependence on oil. The GCC countries, heavily reliant on oil, faced economic challenges during the 2008 financial crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic. Collaboratively, the GCC states are working on a long-term solution a colossal $100 billion rail network to better connect their ports and industrial centers. Focusing on the UAE's Etihad Railway, the project presents unique challenges as it traverses one of the hottest and harshest regions globally. Daytime temperatures can soar to 50 degrees Celsius, requiring construction workers to operate at night when temperatures are a relatively lower 30 degrees Celsius. Extreme heat is not only the challenge. The construction site, located in the middle of the desert, contends with large amounts of sand. During strong winds, sand can settle on the site, hindering work or damaging the railway. To combat this, nearby sand dunes are gradually transformed into clay, a process that takes years to complete. 
Another solution involves planting numerous trees near the railway, acting as natural barriers to prevent sand coverage. The Etihad Mega Project is planned in two stages and aims to be fully completed by 2024. Phase 1, initiated in 2009, consists of two tracks covering 264 kilometers, connecting the Shah and Habshan gas fields to the port of Ruwais in the west of the United Arab Emirates. This railway is expected to help the country reduce its carbon footprint, ranking among the highest globally. A single train journey is equivalent to removing approximately 300 trucks from the road, reducing carbon dioxide emissions by 70% to 80% compared to using trucks. Phase 2 will expand the rail network by an additional 600 kilometers to connect the East Coast and other key industrial regions. Norway's New Coastal Highway Number 3. Norway's New Coastal Highway Norway, known for its stunning landscapes and challenging terrains, is investing $47 billion in a groundbreaking highway upgrade to improve connectivity from Trondheim to Bergen. This first-of-its-kind project includes floating bridges, floating tunnels, and the world's deepest road tunnel, the Rogfast Subsea Tunnel. The Sonnefjord Crossing, the most demanding face, is exploring options like a suspension bridge, a floating bridge, and a submerged floating tunnel. A hybrid concept may offer a unique solution. Tibet's High Speed Railway Number 2. Tibet's High Speed Railway In the remarkable Tibetan Plateau, China is constructing an 800-kilometer electric high-speed train from Lhasa to Chengdu. Costing nearly $6 billion for the Lhasa to Ninki section alone, the project tackles altitude challenges with innovative technology. The most challenging part lies ahead, involving seismic risks, landslides, and extreme temperature variations. Expected to be completed by 2030, it aims to enhance access to the region and contribute to China's infrastructure goals. Siberia's Mir Diamond Mine Number 1. Siberia's Mir Diamond Mine The final remarkable construction project on our list is the Mir Diamond Mine located in the Siberian region of eastern Russia. Siberia is infamous for its severe and lengthy winters, featuring average temperatures well below 0 degrees Celsius. This unforgiving environment has a sparse population due to its harsh conditions. However, in the 1950s, Soviet geologist Yuri Kabardin embarked on a daring expedition into this remote Siberian region. Despite previous failed attempts by other expeditions, Yuri successfully identified deposits bearing diamonds. Today, where Yuri's discovery took place lies one of the deepest man-made excavations, an open pit mine descending over 500 meters. To illustrate its depth, the mine is spacious enough to accommodate iconic structures like the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, or even the Lot Center, Europe's tallest building, with some space to spare. Diamond extraction commenced in the late 1950s, but the harsh weather conditions posed formidable challenges. Winters lasting up to seven months made materials brittle, with temperatures dropping below 30 degrees Celsius, freezing the machinery's oil. Consequently, miners had to utilize explosives to thaw the permafrost and access diamond deposits, primarily working during the night. The entire mine required covering to shield the machinery from extreme cold. Summers presented their own challenges, with the ground turning to mud. All structures had to be built on piles to prevent their heat from melting the ground and worsening the mud issue. The unstable soil necessitated constructing the main processing plant on more secure ground. In August 2017, unfortunate hydroecological conditions led to a massive water influx that flooded the mine. Out of the 151 miners on the midday shift, 143 were successfully rescued, but the search for the remaining eight miners had to be abandoned. Presently, mining operations on the Mir Diamond Mine have transitioned underground while continuing to extract diamonds. What are your thoughts on these challenging construction sites? 
Share your opinions in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.